Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see how to fix the Minecraft stuck on encrypting and joint screens. So let's get started. Step number one, stop the server and create a new world. If you are stuck on the encrypting screen, it might be due to the server side world save issue. To save this, stop your server, rename your world directory to something like world.old start your server again and try to join if you can join it indicates a server side world save issue step number two is delete the player data use a tool like the universal minecraft editor and the nbt editor to manually fix any corrupted data in the world old directory move the nbt data from the world dot world to the world using the nbt editor start the minecraft server attempt to join the server Step number three is disable the Optifine, close the game and go to your Minecraft folder, delete the Optifine.jar from this particular path, delete the Optifabric.jar from this particular path, start the game and Optifine will no longer installed. Step number four, review server logs, access server logs, access the server logs to identify any errors or warning that might be related to the issue the server logs can be found in the minecraft server directory check for the errors and the warning review the server logs for any errors or the warnings that might be causing the issue this can help pinpoint the cause of the problem step number five join the online communities join the online communities dedicated to the minecraft specific mod pack being used to the website minecraft.net slash en hyphen us slash community okay so these communities can often help often have experienced users who can provide the valuable insights and solutions to the common issue okay and some of the additional tips are ensure that the server has a sufficient ram increasing ram can help to resolve the issue ensure that all the mods are compatible with the minecraft version and each other check the network connection and ensure that there are no issues with the router firewall or the dns caches ensure that the client's minecraft version and the forge version match the servers okay so that's all about this particular video guys i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the youtube channel see you one and all thank you bye bye